I wish to thank everyone for the immense support uh, that you have continued to accord me since I assumed office three weeks ago. I have in the past weeks taken time to acquaint myself with the internal structures of the county to avoid the pitfalls of years gone by. I have also used the opportunity to consult widely with various stakeholders at both county and national levels. We all know the task of setting up a functional government calls for skill, care, and patience. A well-structured government is a sure ticket to our socio-economic growth and prosperity. This growth is largely hinged on my manifesto and a functional, responsive, and accountable government whose leaders must be servants of the people of Nakuru County. The unassailable social contract between myself and the people of Nakuru demands for astuteness in the management of their resources and unprevailed delivery of services. Ladies and gentlemen, with the convening of the County Assembly now scheduled for the 21st of September 2022, which is, will be on Wednesday, I expect, like any Nakuru resident, the rebirth of a critical arm of your government whose clarion call must be of service delivery to the people of Nakuru. With the assembly in place, I shall be moving with speed to have the necessary structures set up and critical policy papers tabled for consideration and approval. I have no doubt the honorable members are up to the task. As I settle to serve you, I am pleased to share with you some of my considered thoughts on selected county matters. These thoughts have now been transformed into the following policy and administrative interventions. One, streamlining of public transport. Our sector, it's a sector that plays a vital role in the creation of wealth. Hundreds of our youths are dependent on the sector for their daily livelihoods. Since the sector has been identified as a key source of wealth and prosperity, I have appointed a task force to consider, among other things, the operational challenges faced by the sector and recommend suitable remedies for immediate action. The task force chaired by the county secretary shall have membership from the public, transport and security sectors, among others. As we await appropriate recommendations, I have authorized and directed a 100% waiver of all unpaid parking charges for the period running up to August 2022, which ladies and gentlemen amounts to 142 million shillings. This intervention, I have no doubt, will afford the sector an opportunity to recover and engage further with my government. But going forward past September 1, then I hope everybody will be making their payments on time. A revenue mobilization, in order to upscale the level of my government services to all the residents, I have put in motion measures geared towards the identification of new revenue streams and the revamping of the known sources. This exercise must be undertaken by dedicated and motivated teams. However, in carrying out their responsibilities, the teams must be orderly, respectful, and above suspicion. To achieve our revenue target goals, I have approved a total overhaul of the revenue department. This is to include, but not limited to, one, redeployment and reshuffling of all revenue clerks and officers and appointment of new revenue heads. Other interventions aimed at revitalizing small scale businesses to be announced in due course. Public service. My government is keen on ensuring the entire public service is staffed with skilled and motivated members of staff. With a functional public service, I entertain no doubt that the people of Nakuru stand to reap huge dividends in terms of quality, timely, and efficient delivery of services. In order to achieve these goals, I shall be announcing key changes to the existing administrative structures. 
the human resources function must be restructured to be responsive to the needs of our workforce. I am keen to re-evaluate the existing policies on hiring, retention, and promotion of staff members. A sanction and reward system must urgently be implemented to reward hardworking staff, members, and sanction those members who continue to draw public resources without commensurate work input. Our payroll must be cleansed of all ghost workers, a necessary burden of seconded staff from the national government, illegally hired staff and promoted members of staff. I believe our strong county workforce of over 6,000 workers has all the requisite skills required by the county. I have directed the County Public Service Board to implement all the pending promotions for the healthcare workers. A task force will be formed to address the issues of promotions and terms of employment in the health sector. The task force will engage all the stakeholders and recommend policies and guidelines to ensure fair employment terms and timely promotions. Since there are different times, types of contracts, the task force will recommend on how they will be transitioned into permanent and pensionable. General commerce suppliers, sorry, uh, general commerce suppliers and contractors. For the county to grow in all spheres, those engaged in whatsoever businesses, including trading with the county, must now start to enjoy business friendly policies including waiver of county fees and charges, timely processing of payments, efficient management of supply chain and financial systems, among other interventions. A sustained corrupt business environment, a bureaucratic supply chain and financial system, unless checked, shall be the biggest bane to our economic empowerment journey. Deliberate steps must be taken to address the prevailing business environment. Since the country's bottom-up economic model has its place in our devolved unit, I commit to, among other things, one, roll out in the coming days appropriate policies geared towards the promotion of a business-friendly environment for commerce to thrive. Our small-scale traders and youths must start to reap the benefits of our economic model. Two, pay legitimate suppliers and contractors who have been unfairly treated and discriminated against by the county financial and supply chain system. To all staff departments with qualified supply chain specialists and accountants have issued instructions for the immediate restructuring of the supply chain management, including new deployments. Thank you.